evening and welcome to the Bridge Church. Tonight's drama is a passion play for Bolton, brought to you by the Bridge Drama Group. We hope you will enjoy our portrayal of the last days of the life of Jesus. In the need to evacuate the building, the stewards will guide you to the nearest exit. Following scene six, there will be a 15 minute interval. Now, please will you join us in a short prayer. Lord, bless us all as we look into your word through drama. And we thank you for bringing us all here tonight. And we pray that he will keep us safe later during our journey home. Amen. Well, these are interesting times. Over the last few years, Jesus of Nazareth has been traveling our land, preaching to the people. He's attracted quite to follow him. Some say he's a prophet, whilst others call him the Messiah. Talking about who's here? Haven't you heard? It's Jesus of Nazareth, the Messiah. He's here. Hosanna. 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 Jesus, my Lord. Lord. Hosanna. 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 Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter heaven. Lord, The people are gathered because they are curious to know who you are and why we follow you. Would you share a few words with us, please? The kingdom of God is like a tiny mustard seed. If you will water it, even with your tears, it will grow and grow. You must be salt and light to the world. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven will be theirs. Blessed are those who are hungry and thirst for righteousness. Blessed are those whose hearts are pure, for they shall see God. Blessed are those who are persecuted in the cause of right. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called God's children. Blessed are those who show mercy. I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners and need to repent. Blessed are those who show mercy, for they shall have mercy shown to them. Blessed are the sorrowful, they shall be comforted. And blessed are the gentle, For they shall inherit the earth. Come to me, all who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Let me guide you. Let me teach you. Because I am humble and gentle of heart. And you will find rest for your souls. For my way is easy to follow. And the burden I give you is light. Mm. 
think he is. We must report back to Caiaphas. I'm not telling him. You can tell him if you want. He's not going to be pleased. Welcome, Lord. It was just as you told us. We found the man with a jug of water, and his master has prepared a room for us. Come, all is prepared. Welcome, Lord. Matthew, shalom, shalom. 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 Shalom, shalom. Shalom, Peter. What are you going to do? Rabbi, are you going to wash my feet? You don't understand what I am doing, but you will understand later. Never, never at any time are you going to wash my feet. You call me master and teacher, but the master is no greater than the slave and the messenger no greater than whoever sends him. I am among you like a servant. Follow me and do to one another as I have done to you. Our Father in the heavens, your name be holy, your kingdom come. On earth as it is in the heavens, give us this day the bread we need. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our fathers ate manna in the desert and died. I am the living bread. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never again thirst. I am the bread of life. Take, eat. This bread is my body that I shall give for the life of the world. Praise be to you, our God, who creates the fruit of the vine. From the bodies of those who believe in me, there will flow streams of living water. Drink my blood of the covenant, which shall be shed for the forgiveness of sins. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for others. Is, is this to be your last meal, Master? 
My hour has come. I must die. One of you eating with me tonight will betray me. No. 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 Not me. It's not me. You can't mean me. But, But Lord... We have been through so much together, I doubt if any one of us here would ever want to hurt you. No, no, no. no. I tell you the truth. As the scriptures foretold, the Son of Man must die. But however much I suffer, it will be nothing to the sorrow of he who betrays me. No. Lord, is it me? Is it me? I would sink into the earth in shame if it was me. Is it me? No, it's not me. It's not me, is it, Master? It can't be me. Surely not me. Judas. Is it me, Rabbi? Who is it? Who is Judas? Is it me, Rabbi? Friend, whatever you want to do, do it soon. Judas, you can't betray him. It would have been better for him if he had never been born. My children, I will not be with you much longer. You will look for me, but you cannot go where I am going. And now I give you a new commandment. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. If you have love for one another, then everyone will know you are my disciples. Come, I wish to pray on the Mount of Olives. Will you come with me? Whilst this Jesus is alive, there will be no peace in Israel, no quiet time for us. Why is it a problem? He comes to the temple every day. We should have him arrested there. (laughs) To arrest him in the days of the festival is far too dangerous. We cannot arrest him in public, in the temple or even in the open streets. He is surrounded by enthusiastic followers wherever he goes. Are we planning to sit still until the festival is over? It must happen now. I agree. It is far too important to delay. We need to act now. We cannot take him in public. We must try to arrest him silently and with cunning. What? Track the fox to his den? Surely we can't find anybody to do that. Let me through. Who do you think you are? You are not known here. This is a private gathering. Let me through, I say. Who are you? What do you want? I have heard that you are looking for Jesus of Nazareth. What if we are? What business is it of yours? Do you know him, perhaps? Can you help? Yes. Yes, I can. I have seen him with Jesus often. Are you one of his disciples, perhaps? What is your name? My name is Judas Iscariot. And yes, I am one of the Nazarene's disciples. Seize him! Wait! Let him through. What do you want with us? Why are you here? Why are you looking for Jesus of Nazareth? What do you want with him? Judas, he, he speaks harsh words against us. He will not take the advice of the elders. We just want to know why. I heard the priests in the courtyard. They said, you want to kill him. Who speaks such nonsense? Is it not written, thou shall not seek vengeance, nor bear anger against the children of thy people? We just want to understand him. What is it about him? Why are you a disciple? I followed him in order to find a just life. I see disquietness in your face. Has he not led you to this just life? The displeasure you see is only with myself. Recently, I've been tortured by the most disquieting thoughts. What kind of thoughts? 
Tell us. Explain. My friendship with him has grown cold. <laughs> How can this possibly happen? A few hours ago, you were with him when, when he entered triumphantly into Jerusalem. You were amongst the ones that proclaimed him king. <laughs> Who is this Jesus? He... No. Don't listen to me. Tell us. What is it you want to confide in us? I... I worshipped him. In his eyes shines a great light. All our hopes were centred on him. Every day, every night, I told myself he will be great and the Lord will give him the throne of his father David and he will be king over the house of Jacob for all eternity. His rule will know no end. But now you have doubts. I knew when I first saw him that there was power within him. I was attracted by the strength that I sensed. I know that others saw the love and the humility that poured from him, but it was his words that inspired me. He spoke of his father's kingdom and how he would reign over all the earth, bringing peace and everything that had been promised since the time of Abraham and Moses. I believe we'd send those Romans packing, licking their wounds, running scared back to Rome. We, God's chosen people, would once again be masters of our own destiny. I want the warrior king I know he can be, not Jesus the humble king who only fights with love and peace and truth. I expected a king of choice and free will. A king who reflected power and authority, who was born into wealth and renown. A king who wore a crown to be envied by all. I wanted a king who dined with statesmen, who was friends with the rich, the educated, the famous and the powerful. I wanted a king But I got a prince of peace. I wanted a king. But all I got was a man who wants to save others. Judas, your thoughts frighten me. They are dangerous. Take care that no one hears you saying these things and reports you to the Romans. <laughs> Look, don't worry. Judas... Like you, I, I think highly of your rabbi. I long to speak with him. It is for this reason that, that I seek him. It is like a, a shepherd looking for the lost sheep of his flock. You know where he goes of an evening. Would, would you be prepared to show us this place? And then in the silence and solitude of the night, we will visit with him and, and ask him to come and speak with us. No one needs to know of it. Judas, if we all work together, we can help this Jesus fulfill his destiny. I'm ready. I will await your men at Gethsemane at nightfall. Nathaniel and Annas will accompany you, and uh, it is probably advisable that a couple of guards from the palace come with you. We are in your debt. No, high priest, you owe me nothing. Here, take 30 pieces of silver, an appropriate reward.
Please, friends, sit here while we pray. The sorrow in my heart is so great that it almost crushes me. So you're going to go through with it then? The world must recognize that I love the Father and that I will do what the Father has commissioned me to do. Has the time come then when you will be delivered into your enemy's hands? They will kill you. No, Lord. He who is without sin shall never die. What can your enemies do to you? One word and you will crush them all. Remain with us, Rabbi. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. I came into the world for the sake of this hour. I must fulfill what has been written. Never seen him so down, so depressed. Rabbi, where you go, I will go as well. I will follow you. I'll follow I you. Will, we will follow you. Yeah, follow we you. will follow you, Master. Where I am going, you cannot go to. But later you will follow me there. Teacher, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? I am the way. And the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father unless he meets him through me. I will follow you, Lord. I will follow you. Lord. Follow you. Follow you. Follow you. Follow. Tonight, all of you will betray me. Oh, no. Never. No. 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 The, no. the Lord will strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. No. No, Lord. Even though the others may run away and desert you, I never will. I'm your trusted friend, your loyal servant. And you are our Christ, son of the living God. And I am Peter, your rock, upon whom you can depend. So Lord, even if the others <laughs> run away and abandon you, I will never desert you. No. We will never leave never. you, Master. Peter, Peter. Before the cock crows three times tomorrow morning, you will deny even knowing me. No, no rubbish. Even if it means dying with you, Jesus, I will never deny you. I would die for you. I would, I would die, die, die for, for you, you. Jesus. Dear Lord. It is written that you will be sifted like wheat. I have prayed that your faith will never cease. Give strength to your brothers. Peter, John, come, stay awake with me and keep watch. Father, everything is possible for you. Please, remove this cup of suffering from me. Father, I always have done and I always will do what you want. sleeping and resting look the hour has come that the son of man is given over to the power of sinful men peace be with you teacher be quick about it friend
put your swords away. All who take up the sword will die by the sword. Did you have to come with swords and clubs to arrest me? As though I was an outlaw or terrorist? Every day I have sat and taught in the temple. Why didn't you arrest me then? Do you not see this is to make true what the prophets wrote in the scriptures? Stop this heresy! Take him away! Your day is done, teacher. You've been brought before this court because of certain accusations made against you. What do you have to say? How can I say anything? I don't know why I'm here. What are the accusations? The people say you have been blaspheming. Have you ever heard me blaspheme? That is not the point. You know I have always spoken openly. 
I've always taught in the synagogues or at the temple where all the Jews come together. I said nothing in secret. If you have something against me, bring some witnesses. How dare you speak to the high priest like that? If I'm lying, bring evidence against me. But if I'm telling the truth, why hit me? Hey, you were with that Jesus the other day. I saw you. You were standing right next to him at the temple. I'm sure of it. In the temple? I don't think so. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen him before. I know it's you. I never forget a face. I was there when Jesus knocked over the table of the temple salesman. He caused the real rumpus, money and animals everywhere. You're right. Our master was furious, but the crowd were pretty impressed. I was pretty impressed myself. But Jesus certainly has something special about him. He's different, that's for sure. Master was really rattled by him. The all out, look at them. They're out to get him and you. Oh, you're mixing me up with somebody else. Just leave me be. Summon the witnesses. Let us hear what they have to say. Send in the witnesses. Talking to demons. Is that so? He killed the herds of pigs. Oh, unbelievable. Next. He taught his disciples to pick corn on the Sabbath. So? Well, his teaching is against our holy law. Well, I know that. Who do you think I am? But I can't kill him for that, can I? Oh, where did we find this one? Next. Riot in the temple. Ah, now I heard about this. He bullied everybody trying to make an honest living. And were you there trying to make an honest living for yourself? Of course. Of course. So no self interest then. Next. I saw that nobody likes him. What? No one? Oh, would that it be true. Oh, but that is just the problem. Is there anyone here who can speak reliably? He is a liar and a troublemaker. Tell me something I don't know. He told us he would pull down the temple and then build it better in three days. Now that is interesting. So now, what do you have to say? My whole life has been about showing people the truth. But none of this is blasphemy, is it? Do you know, Esther, you're right about this fellow. You remember faces while I remember accents. He's got that northern accent from Galilee, where Jesus comes from. You are one of his disciples, aren't you? I'd be worried if I were you. They're after his blood and they'll be after all you soon. Oh, leave me alone, woman. Can't you see I'm just trying to keep warm? I'm sick and tired of all your pestering and jibing. I've told you before, I don't know this Jesus person that you keep talking about. Why do you break our laws and contradict the teachings of the prophets? 
I have not come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come to fulfill them. The question we really want you to answer is, are you the Messiah, the Son of the Most High? I demand an answer. Are you the Son of God? You say that I am, and you will see me again, sitting next to God. We need no more. He has spoken blasphemy. Take him to Pilate, the Roman governor. He warned me that this would happen. Told me exactly how it would be. But I didn't believe him. Now, if you'd have said that about any of the others, I'd have thought otherwise. Oh, how those words come back to haunt me now. How stupid and foolish they make me feel. If only I'd kept my mouth shut. If only I'd not been so full of myself. If only I'd had more courage. Now we've all failed him in our own different ways. They'll point to the others. And they'll say, they abandoned him. And they'll talk about Judas and about how he betrayed him. And then they'll look at me. They'll look at me. And they'll say, he denied him. And I did. Do not condemn the Galilean. He is holy. You will only bring trouble on yourself. When you hear truth, do you recognise it? Yes, I do. Do you? How? Come on, tell me. How? Truth. What is truth? If I don't condemn him, there will be trouble. And Caesar doesn't want any trouble. That is my truth.
So, Jesus, explain why you've been brought to me. Don't you know? Didn't they tell you when they brought me to you? I already know what they say. And? They say you're a madman, that you're dangerous, that you claim to be the Son of God, and you're causing disruption amongst the masses. And what do you see? I see a man who talks like he knows God. You talk with authority. I've never heard anyone like you before. Have you ever really listened? Aren't you scared of me, Jesus? I have the power to put you to death. But you have no power to give me life. But you are alive. By whose power? Not yours. If my father didn't give it to you, you'd have no power at all. Stop this nonsense. This is getting us nowhere. You're either crazy or you're a god. And you are no god. I've wasted enough time with you. I find no reason for charging this man with anything. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Today is your special festival. And as always, I shall release for you one prisoner. Shall I release for you this king of the Jews? Barabbas. Barabbas? Are you out of your mind? He's a murderer. No, 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 no. no. I cannot release a killer. He kills Jews and Romans alike. I bring Jesus before you to tell you that I find no charge against him. No, look at him. Look at the man, look at his face. I find no charge against him. You will have to crucify him yourselves. By law, we cannot. He claims to be the son of God and he must die. And you must do it. Give me strength. Just what on earth do you think you are doing? I have an innocent man here in custody. He, he said he is a king. How would Caesar react to another king in his land? How would Caesar react to you? Here is your king. We have no king but Caesar. Have what you want then. I wash my hands of this. This has nothing to do with me. This is your decision, your choice, not mine. His blood is not on my hands. Take him to be crucified.
you, you are nothing. Get moving. Get moving. Get moving. Ah, oh, look at him. Can you get him what he deserves? Who are you? Jesus, what are you? Jesus, do something. Get moving. Look at you now. He's getting what he deserves. He's getting what he deserves. Oh my God. What they done to you? Get moving. Get moving. Save yourself, Jesus. <laughs> my heart is broken. Like a cloud, my hope disperses. I had hoped for good, but evil comes. I had longed for light, but darkness descends. I think you should both go. You will not be able to bear the sight of him. John, John. Do not suggest I abandon my son. Wherever he is going, I will go too. Get moving. <laughs> Save yourself, Jesus. <laughs> Crucify him. Get moving. Crucify him. You're no Messiah. He's getting what he deserves. He's getting what he deserves, King of the Jews. <laughs> not my king. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, Jesus. My Get son, moving. My son, Lord in heaven, can you not see the tears I shed over my son's pain? Look down and take notice. Why do you close your eyes and your ears to my sighs and my prayers? Rabbi, is this how they reward you? Please let him rest. He can rest when it's on the cross. Get moving! Master, Don't make me angry! Master, how your face is covered with sweat and blood! Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but for yourselves and your children. Get moving! Get moving!
I say crucify him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what he deserves. Save yourself, Jesus. No. <laughs> What is this sign? This is Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews? This is a mockery, an affront to the council and its entire people. We cannot approve of this title. This sign must be removed, have it taken down now. We cannot do it. I demand that this sign be removed, or at least change it. He is not our King. Change it to I claim to be the king of the Jews. What is written remains written. It was ordered to say so by the governor. So it remains king of the Jews. Well, if you truly are the Messiah, you should come down from your cross so that we shall all see. Yeah. And believe. Yeah, come down. <laughs> you said you could tear down the temple and rebuild it in three days. Come on, save yourself. <laughs> he helped others, but he cannot help himself. <laughs> <laughs> you trusted in God, so let him save you now, if he really loves. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Listen to me. I assure you, today, you will be with me in paradise. What? He still believes he has power over the gates of paradise. <laughs> <laughs> I am thirsty. Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani. He calls for Elijah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let's see if Elijah is coming to save him then. No, he is not calling for Elijah. He is calling for God, who has abandoned him. <laughs> <laughs> Father, it is finished. Into your hands, I commend my spirit.
Surely, this man was the son of God. It is finished. What is to become of him, my Lord? Where are your angels now? My soul has been pierced as foretold long ago. My heart has been ripped from my chest. My son has been torn from my arms. My son. My son has been torn from my arms. <laughs> Do you know, I always knew he'd come to a bad end. He was a disgrace to our good family. He ended up just a common thief and violent too. All oh, those poor men he hit. He was the death of his father. My poor Jacob died of shame. I'm sure of it. Shame and sorrow at what his son had become. He's gone now. Oh well, it's all over and done with now. Well, it's over and done with now. He's gone, my beautiful boy. He showed such promise when he was young. And then one bad decision, one moment of madness, and he was an outcast. He wanted to change, he knew he'd done wrong. He just wanted forgiveness and to put the past behind him. But instead, he ended up on a cross next to an innocent man. He ended up on a cross next to an innocent man. Do you know, when I saw him up there next to Rabbi Jesus, that good man, I was confused. I couldn't think clearly. I couldn't hold on to my thoughts. They just kept drifting away like smoke. But then, looking back, all I could see was my small, beautiful boy running, running, here, Mama, a flower for you. Pick me up, Papa. Swing me onto your shoulders, laughing and laughing. <laughs> I could still feel his small, soft, sleeping body in my arms. I could still hear his little voice bubbling as he played. <laughs> but then, but then to see him up, hanging up there, I just wanted to run and pull him down from that cruel cross and hold him again in my arms and promise him the moon and the stars. But it was already too late. He died hating with curses in his mouth and my heart broken. <laughs> oh Lord, how could it end like this? How could it end like this? How could a peaceful man be persecuted for speaking the truth? He spoke of love and reconciliation and you treated him with contempt and abandoned him. How could you let this happen to your brother? How could you turn your gaze while crowds bade for his blood? You wanted to be by his side. With him you felt safe. So, 
How could you stand by and do nothing? He cared for all of you. He saw you as his brothers. He loved you. Did my son suffer alone? Did my son suffer alone? No, I, I don't think he did. I saw something of my boy as he used to be. The way he tried to protect that Jesus when the other criminal just taunted him. And the strength in his voice when he said, we're getting what we deserve for what we've done. But he has done no wrong. And then, Jesus, remember me when you are king. And I listened carefully and I heard Jesus say, today you'll be with me in paradise. The look of absolute joy and peace on my son's face. But can a mother ever feel peace when she watches her son die? Can a mother ever feel peace when she watches her son die? The joy I once felt as I held him in my arms is long but a distant memory, achingly fading with every gasp for breath. Words have no meaning now, and time has stood still. Without him, the sky pales to grey and the birds shall sing no more. Wait, be still, be still. This is not what he would want. Could it be your will that he be reunited with you so soon? Oh Lord, I call upon you for strength. Let it be your will that he be treated with kindness and mercy. Lord, I call upon you for strength. Let it be your will that he be treated with kindness and mercy. Lord, I call to you for strength. Let it be your will that he be treated with kindness and mercy. Lord, we, we call, call upon you for strength. Let, Let it, it be your will that, that they be treated with kindness and mercy. I can hardly bear to see him again. I don't know if I can go through with this. I can't believe he's dead. Seeing his body will make it real. It seems like some horrible nightmare now. It doesn't seem like three days ago. But when I touch his body. But it has to be done, doesn't it, Mary? We have to bury him properly. Mary? I'm sorry. It's just, I can't get over the fact that I'll never see him again. Never hear his voice. Never. Look, come on. We're nearly there now. Joseph is kind enough to let us use his place to rest his body. But who's going to open the tomb? We won't be able to roll away the stone. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Wait! Something's different. Someone's moved the stone. Oh no, you don't think they have taken him, do you? No, they couldn't even let us grieve in peace. What is it? What's happened? It's a miracle. The linen is lying there. But the body, the body's gone. I don't understand. I don't understand. The cloths, the, the lying there and touched. Oh, what are you talking about? This is a sign to us. His body's gone, but the cloths are still there, folded and untouched. Jesus is not here. Wow. He's not here. He's risen. Jesus. Don't you see? Jesus is risen. Come, quick, quick, quick! We must go tell our brothers! Come, quick! (sighs) 
Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord, and I do not know where they have put him. Woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you are looking for? Are you the gardener? If you have moved him or taken his body, please tell me. Tell me and I will go and get him. Mary? Teacher? Teacher? You can't touch me yet. I've not yet gone back up to my father. Go to my brothers and tell them that I am returning to my father and their father, my God and their God. Remind them that I will meet with them in Galilee, as I once told them. Time has passed, and we're all still trying to come to terms with it. It's difficult to describe. The sense of loss was so great, it overwhelmed me. And going to the tomb to anoint his body with spices was the one practical thing I could do. It's a time when everything seems so pointless. But then, going to the tomb and seeing his body gone left me in such despair. I didn't know what to do and sorrow filled my heart. But then, to see Jesus and hear him say my name, what joy filled my heart. It was indescribable. There were no words. I couldn't wait to tell the others to wait as he commanded. So we wait. We wait, we hope. We wait, we hope, and we pray. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days have been held in your hands. From the moments that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in the darkest nights. You were close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived in the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. You're all off your heads. I saw him, he, he was dead. I know, Thomas. I was with him at the end. I saw him die. I saw as the spear pierced his side and I saw him buried. But, but we, we saw, saw the, the tomb, tomb was, was empty. empty. I can accept that they took the body. I believe you that the tomb was empty. But you don't believe that I saw him, that I spoke to him. No. Why? Is it because I'm a woman? 
Because I'm emotional, I'm still grieving. No, and that's not the reason. Then why? Is it because you think I'm mad? Didn't Jesus teach you anything? Of course he did. But you all know me, I've always been a practical man. I've always believed my own eyes. I believed he would never die. But now that he has died, I'm left with so many doubts. So many doubts. But we all saw him, Thomas. He was here only the other day. He was, Thomas. We saw him. It was wonderful. It's what you wanted to see. You believe that if you think hard enough, you can turn lies into truth, dark into light. And that means it's all so hollow for us. What will it take, Thomas? What will it take? Do you want to know? Yes, yes. Thomas. Do you really want to know? Yes. yes. I'll tell you. I want to see the holes in his hands and his feet. I want to put my hand in the hole in his side. Now, when that happens, then I'll believe. Thomas? Uh, no, no. Thomas? No, I don't believe. Look at me, Thomas. Thomas, look at my hands. Come on, put your fingers on them. Put your hand into my side. You are my Lord and my God. You believe because you have seen me. Many more will believe and be blessed without ever seeing me. I believe you will do greater things. It's my time to go. But before I leave, go. Tell the world about me. I was dead. Now I live. My spirit is with you wherever you go. You have a purpose and I have a plan. I'll make you this promise. I'll come back again. But until then, go. Tell them about me. I came into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. I've got to go now for a little while but goodbye is not the end Thank you.